Hey guys, it's Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really fun video, which I, I don't think I did this last year, but basically I'm just going to be doing a 2017 favorites video. So everything that I loved in 2017, from makeup, beauty, planner, fashion, um, random things, events, Anything that comes to my mind, I'm going to be talking about it in this video. So if you are interested in hearing all of my favorites throughout the amazing year of 2017, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first category I'm going to be talking about is makeup and beauty products. So this could be anything from makeup, obviously, to skincare, to hair care, which I actually don't think I have anything hair related, but I did get my hair cut in 2017, so that's definitely a favorite. I have always had long hair. I think I cut my hair once in like grade nine um, to about this length actually, but I had like straight bangs. So everyone called me Snow White and it was like dark black. I sometimes wore like a little red headband. So literally I looked like Snow White. But anyways, cutting my hair was definitely a favorite for 2017, but I don't think I have any hair care products that I've really loved. I'm not a huge like do my hair kind of person. I'm literally just like wake up, curl it or straighten it, I guess. So anyways, we are going to get into makeup first, which the first things you guys might have seen me holding them, but these are the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This by far was my favorite foundation all of 2017. I think these came out like spring, summer time. I'm not 100% sure, but I love these so much. I do have two different shades and it's actually what I'm wearing on my face today, I think this is the most like natural and well like blendable foundation I've ever tried. And what I do is I put, I have a darker foundation and then the lighter foundation and I put the darker ones obviously where I want to contour. So my cheekbones, um, I put a little bit on the sides of my nose and around my forehead area and my temples. And then I put the rest of the face with the lighter color and it just gives a really natural kind of blended sculpt look to your face instead of doing like the whole contour and all that stuff on top you're kind of just doing it as your base i do put a little bit of bronzer over top so i really love the way that this looks on my face and it was definitely a favorite for 2017. next up is speaking of bronzer the hula bronzer by benefit i love this bronzer so much it is the only bronzer that i can find that is a cool enough um tone that it looks fine on my skin tone because i have a very pale pale skin tone and most of the time when I try to find a bronzer color or a contour color it ends up being too warm and it just ends up looking like blush and it looks like I don't know where to put my blush so I am in love with this and I use it pretty much every single time I do my makeup for YouTube videos or anything obviously I do not use this like on an everyday basis because I don't wear bronzer on an everyday basis but you can clearly tell that I do use it every single time I do my makeup like this because I hit pan, which I was really happy about, so that's a favorite. Next up is this thing right here. I definitely think I got into highlighter a lot in 2017, and this was by far my favorite highlighter. This is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, and it comes with six different highlighters. I definitely think that um, Forever Lit and Forever Young are my two favorites. I'm currently wearing Forever Young. They're definitely the two that match my skin tone the best, but obviously you could pretty much wear all of these. I'm pretty sure I've worn all of them, um, but those two are definitely my favorite. But I fell in love with highlighter in 2017, and this was definitely my favorite. Next up is yet another Anastasia product. I honestly think Anastasia Beverly Hills is becoming one of my favorite brands because I love this palette that I'm going to talk to you guys about. You guys just saw I love the glow kit. I also love their stick foundation. I love their brow wiz and their dip brow for my brows. And I think there's a few other products that I love from them. I haven't tried their liquid lipsticks. So let me know if you guys think I should try those because those are like one of the only products that I've not tried for them. But anyways, this product right here is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. This came out in 2017 and it was definitely a favorite for a lot of people and it was just an amazing amazing thing that came into the beauty world and the makeup world so many people love this palette and i think honestly this kind of started the whole warm eyes trend and putting oranges and um like pinks and reds in your eye in your eye on your eye in your eye looks so yeah i definitely think this was like a breakthrough 
for Anastasia and I think it is a great palette and I honestly use it pretty much on an everyday basis because I love it. And then lastly for makeup products we have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This saved my lips guys. I have the driest lips in the world and I could not figure out what to use. Just normal lip chap was not helping me out so I decided to try this. Um, it's a little bit of a weird consistency but it is a really nice thing to do before you go to bed. You just put this on your lips. Obviously when you're sleeping you're not really paying attention to what like this product feels like on your lips so it doesn't matter but I try to put this on before I go to bed every single night and I wake up with the smoothest lips in the morning and it just feels so nice. It also tastes pretty good I have to admit um, there is sugar in this agave obviously so yeah if you do have dry lips I definitely recommend this it's not too expensive and I've used it over and over again and I'm like not even a quarter of the way through it so awesome next up I have a few skincare products I have used this mask so many times I believe this is my second bottle of this and then I also have a backup third one in my drawer right now but this is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. If you have seen any of my, I think I snapchat with this all the time and on my vlogs and stuff but this is my always my go-to um, peel off mask if I really want to get all the yuckiness out of my skin. I go for this and then this honestly has changed the mask game in my opinion but I just picked this up from Sephora it's really supposed to be for your foundation it is the pro precision foundation brush I use this to put on a few different masks but I definitely say that this one is my favorite and it's just so easy to like get in there and like spread out your mask really really nicely and evenly so definitely recommend grabbing yourself just a synthetic brush people also use like spatulas and stuff but I feel like a brush would do a better job and all you have to do is just rinse it out right after you finish using it so the product doesn't dry on it but I love this pairing so much and I try to do this at least once a week just to get all of the impurities out of my skin for the week ahead so that is definitely a favorite and then another skincare product is this right here this is the origins high potency nitamins this is the moisturizer that I use on my face every single night there is a new one that I've started using that I got a sample from from Sephora and I kind of like that one more. You guys will see in a future um, favorites video if I do start doing monthly favorites. Let me know down below if you guys do want to see monthly favorites this year. I feel like I kind of want to make it a goal to have like a monthly favorites every single month of 2018. But definitely let me know or I could do like um, seasonal favorites or anything like that. But this one was definitely a favorite in 2017. Um, it's a really, really good moisturizer. I've used a ton of this I'm almost done you guys can see the bottom there and I really really like it so it just moisturizes my skin like it's supposed to and makes it feel good and then lastly for the beauty products I have this right here this is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume this was definitely my favorite probably all of spring and summer I have started using the Burberry blush scent for like winter kind of um, but I definitely think that this was the one that I used most in 2017. I use this a ton and there's still like a good half to two-thirds of this left which is amazing but this is a really really bright clean scent which I absolutely love. I'm not a huge fan of like musky dark kind of heavy scents. This is very light and clean and crisp and I absolutely love it so that was definitely a favorite in 2017. Next category is going to be fashion. I'm quickly going to go through these because I feel like I was talking way too much in the beauty category. But the first fashion favorite are these right here. I actually got these through my bank because I have this rewards system thing with every time I use my credit card I get reward points and I ended up getting these right here. These are my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I believe these are the Clubmaster. Um, but I definitely think that these are by far my favorite sunglasses ever. I am obsessed. They are so like modern and just cool and I am obsessed and I'm so happy that I didn't really like pay for them, um, which makes me happy. And I actually think I have enough rewards now to possibly get another pair of Ray-Bans. So I might um, spoil myself and pick up some of those. But next up in the fashion category, I have these right here. You guys would have saw these. I think I talked about them in another video um, that they were my favorite. I think it might have been in the haul where I hauled these. But honestly, I did get these pretty late in the year. I think it was like October possibly. But guys, these leggings have changed 
my life. If you are an avid, avid gym goer or you are a dancer, you would know that when you get working out and stuff, you don't want your leggings kind of riding down. And these guys, they stay in place and they feel so good and solid on your body. I think these are called the something about flash. I'm not 100% sure. I will put it up here what they are called in the haul. I did actually tell you guys what these were called. But they are cropped leggings. They have a little bit fresh and mesh. That's what they're called. Fresh and mesh leggings from um, Lululemon. But they have a little bit of the mesh there. And they're just so light and comfortable. And like I said, they do not move. So if you are looking for a pair of leggings, I would definitely see if Lululemon has those available. Um, Lululemon's kind of weird with that sort of thing. And they have like certain styles available at certain times. So definitely check back. Um, but anyways, next is another pair of bottoms. But these are jeans. And I purchased my first pair. These are Just Black jeans which is the brand Just Black, and I love these jeans so much. They're a high-waisted black jean, and you guys probably have seen these multiple times in vlogs, but they have the holes in the knees. I will put a picture. Um, I think I posted on Instagram not too long ago me wearing these, um, but they are so nice, and they're high-waisted. They fit me so nicely. They make my thighs and my legs look nice and long and thin, which I love. And I discovered Just Black through purchasing a pair of jeans from a consignment store. And then I actually looked up where you can get Just Black jeans, and you can get them from a jean machine. So if you do have a jean machine by you, get yourself some Just Black jeans. I do admit they are pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure those black jeans were like $130, which is a lot. But I decided that I was going to really invest in some good jeans because jeans are important people. But next up in the fashion category, I have turtlenecks. And again, I don't think I got these too early in the year. I got these pretty late, but like the love for turtlenecks guys has skyrocketed because I love them so much. I just purchased another one. Um, it's actually the same one as this that I got from Zoffel. So it's just like a cropped um, turtleneck sweater. It's super cozy and is cropped so it makes you look really, really good with some high-waisted jeans. I got another color of that coming, but I also have this one here, which is another one of my favorites. This is my Nancy sweater because whenever I wear this turtleneck, I look from Nan look like Nancy from Stranger Things. So this one is from Forever 21. I tried to find the same one in a few different colors, but they only have this burgundy color, but that's totally fine because that's like my color. And then lastly for fashion, we have a line of t-shirts or a line of just shirts from American Eagle. And the line is called their soft and sexy line. And if you have an American Eagle by you, go and just touch this line. Like the fabric is so nice. And if you've watched my vlogs, or anything, if you've seen any Snapchats, you will probably recognize a lot of these shirts. I wore these t-shirts and long sleeve shirts all of 2017. I fell in love with this line, but I have this one here, which my sister and I actually have the same one. Hers is in a different color, but it's a long sleeve shirt in this marble pattern, and then you have these cool like ropes and stuff at the top. I also have this one here, which again is like that marble pattern. A lot of the soft and sexy line is in this really cool like marbling kind of tie-dye-ish. So you have this one here that's purple and white. And then lastly, I have two of these and I absolutely love this t-shirt. I wore these more at the beginning of the year or like earlier in the year, but they do have like the built-in choker. And again, it's like that really cool, like watery colored marbly tie-dye pattern. And I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. And that's literally my style guys, just jeans and a really comfortable t-shirt. Okay, so next up is the lifestyle category. I didn't really know what to name this category, but basically it's just a candle I love, some gadgets, some apps, that sort of thing. But the first thing, speaking of candles, is this one right here. Guys, if you have not smelled this candle, oh my god. If I meet a man that smells like this, like, ugh, I'm in love. But this is the Peppered Suede Candle from Bath & Body Works. This is friggin' amazing. I cannot, like, 
literally just smells like a man, like a really, 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 really sexy man. So if you like that, get this candle because it is bomb. Next up is a gadget that I have loved all of 2017, especially when I started working out. And that is these right here. These are my Beats, like power Beats. I don't really know what these are called. They're not the ones obviously that go over and they're huge and ginormous. These ones are cordless and you just put this behind and plug in to your ears. They're so, so nice to work out with. And also if you are a sticker maker and stuff and you know that listening to those damn machines all day is just not fun, you can wear these and listen to music or watch a movie, that sort of thing. So these definitely came in handy, um, especially when I started working out, but even before that with owning a sticker shop. And then another, actually another gadget that I really wanted to talk about was my Google Home Mini. I love those so much. I actually have two now. I have one up in my bedroom and one in my living room. I got these pretty late. I think I got my first one. Oh, I actually got them like the last month of 2017, but still they are amazing. If you do not know, they're basically just like sp speaker assistants. You can like ask it stuff. You can ask it to play music. Um, I actually have hooked it up to my Christmas tree to turn off and on my Christmas tree and that sort of thing. I love it so much, but I just quickly wanted to mention those. Um, but another thing that I absolutely love are these right here. I don't think I've mentioned these a ton on my channel because I know people don't really know what to think of these because they kind of do look like a cigar or a vape, if you will. But basically, these are monk. Um, I don't know what they're exactly called, personal oil diffusers or something like that. If you do know what an oil diffuser is, it's basically you put your oils, um, your essential oils in and it diffuses them into your room. Basically, this is just a personal on the go type of thing. So it has different um, essential oils in them. So this one right here is the Happy Monk. So this is supposed to brighten your mood and just make you happier throughout the day. This has fennel, thyme, and vanilla. This one is so, so nice. Um, I actually will show you guys the actual thing, but this is it here. It's just a little yellow thing. You suck it in and then you blow the smoke out your nose. It is so nice and they smell so, so good and it just brightens your mood. I also have the Active Monk, which I haven't tried yet, and then I have the Healthy Monk. And then also in my bedroom, which are the two that I've had for the longest, I do have Sleepy Monk that helps you with your sleeping. So you can just take a puff before you go to bed and it is amazing. It just puts you to sleep right away. Not actually, but it does help. And I also do have the Zen Monk, which is my favorite by far. It's a really good um, help for if you are anxious or stressed out. I always have that one and it's awesome. I would definitely recommend checking out Monk if you like oil diffusers and that sort of thing and you do want to kind of have something to help aid your mood when you're in a bad mood or if you're stressed or anything like that. Definitely check them out. I will have Monk down below. This is not sponsored or anything. I've had these for like a good two years now, so they are really good. And then the last two lifestyle favorites are two apps that I absolutely love. The first one is Spotify. I discovered Spotify in 2017. Obviously, you guys most likely will know what Spotify is, but it is just a music playing app that I love. I am a premium member, so I can listen to it um, when I'm on the go, when I don't have any wireless. Um, if you aren't a premium member, I'm pretty sure you have to have wireless in order to listen to music and you can't like skip through all the songs um, like you normally would. So yeah, definitely recommend getting the premium. I think you just have to pay like $10 a month or something like that. But I also do have a Spotify account if you want to go check that out. I think it's just Jen Rose Beasley. I only have one playlist, but I really do want to start making another one. So, and then the last app that I wanted to talk about was Headspace. I recently started using Headspace. I think I started in September and it really helped the last four months of 2017. I cannot tell you guys how amazing it feels to meditate. I don't know what it is about it. But like when you're finished, I don't even, I can't explain. Like it is so, so nice. I am just learning how to meditate. So I'm not like super into it or anything, but I definitely recommend it. If you do get stressed throughout the day and you are pretty busy and on the go, it's definitely a good thing to do when you're just wanting a little bit of time for yourself and you just want to relax. Okay, so the next category is the planner category. If you do not know, I am a planner girl. I love planning in my planner. I also have an Etsy sticker shop. So clearly 
planning is a big part of my life, but I quickly wanted to go over a few things that I loved in 2017. The first thing is a pen. This is the Pilot G2 0.7. There's a hair on it, but I believe this does come in 0.2, no, 0.5 as well, which is a bit thinner, but I do really love how this pen writes. It doesn't write the best on glossy sticker paper, but I'm not a huge fan of glossy, so I don't often use glossy. Um, the second favorite is this right here. This is the Erin Condren 2017-2018 um, hardbound horizontal planner, I believe that's what it's called. But um, basically, this is what I use to pre-plan my weeks before I fill my plan with these. I love this so much. I started using it, I think, in July, and it has helped so much with my pre-planning and just me knowing what I'm doing in my plan with me's, which sounds really stupid that I have to plan planning, but it is really helpful when you do film your plan with me's. So yeah, I just put down lists of things that I need to include each day in here, and then I put them into my planner with stickers. And then lastly, I did want to show you guys, I think my favorite spread all of 2017 um i think it was at the end of september oh here we go okay so this is my favorite spread of 2017 can we just talk about this this is a gorgeous lavender spread i believe this was from sweet box papery but i just think this looks so so pretty and so put together everything just meshes together as a gorgeous spread and it just turned out really 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 nicely so i whenever i see the spread i just stop and i'm like oh my god like this this is gorgeous and like i wrote everything really nicely i think this was one of the weeks where i like kept up with everything really good but yeah i think that is everything for my planner favorite Okay, so the last category is just random things that I just wanted to touch on, whether they be events or things that she's not currently here right now. But obviously Penny was definitely a favorite in 2017. 2017 was the first full year that I had Penny. I got Penny in November of 2016. So I got her at the end of 2016 and had her for all of 2017. I believe she's sleeping right now, but I love Penny. She is the light of my life. And you guys, I just, I have no words about Penny. She's just the cutest thing in the entire world and she just brightens my days. But the other thing that I really wanted to talk about was my new house. I moved in to this new house in August, I think. So I've been in this house for a good five to six months now and I absolutely love it. I love how much room I have and how many like different spaces I have that I was able to decorate and kind of give a purpose, which I love. I love this space that I have here, which is like my studio, I guess. I have like my makeup table and stuff and also where I film. So I love this space. I love the Planning Roses office and just the whole house really feels like a home and I'm so, so happy that I moved in here and I will probably be living here for another year hoping that I can do that. But yeah, that was definitely a favorite for 2017. Okay, and then the last random thing that I wanted to quickly touch on before we end the video is vlogging. I fell in love with vlogging in 2017. I think I vlogged a little bit in 2016, but I don't think I was so much into it as I was in 2017. I started doing my Gemma's Journey vlog, so I weekly vlogged every single week and then I also did vlogween which was vlogging every day in October and then I did vlogmas as well which is vlogging every day in December so safe to say I fell in love with vlogging and I am actually vlogging today for the first time um, I think in a while I did vlogmas and then I took a week off and now I'm starting again which I'm so so happy I am going to be doing a weekly vlog so you guys will see a new vlog I think every single either Monday or Tuesday. I'll probably do Tuesday just because I will be uploading my plan with me's on Mondays. So yeah, get excited for those. Again, I am going to continue with the whole Jenna's journey thing. I love that. And you guys just keeping up with my journey, which is amazing. And you guys are definitely another favorite of mine. I love every single one of you so, so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. If you have not already and you do want to be a favorite of mine, I would definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorites and definitely let me know down below any of your favorites. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Do you know you're my favorite? You are so
so cute. I love you. I love you more than avocados. Did you know that? Did you know I love you more than avocados? Yeah. And I like avocados a lot. And it just it feels good to be back. So anyways, today we are doing a winter slash boxing day haul, which if you do not know what boxing day is, I'm pretty sure it is everywhere except for the US, which is kind of funny because 